From bundles of rats to ancient dolls, here are 10 of the most bizarre discoveries that science cannot explain. Number 10. The Ulfbert Swords Ulfbert swords were the weapon of choice of the Vikings, along with other tribes around northern Europe. They had a long, double-edged blade and a straight crossbar over the grip. There are only about 170 still known to exist today, each of which dates to between the 9th and 11th centuries. And the cool thing is they have the telltale inscription in the blade itself. Said to be stronger, sharper, and better than any other sword at the time, they were owned by the wealthier members of society and came with a hefty price tag, about the equivalent of up to $24,000 in today's prices. The name itself of Ulfbert is a form of early trademark, signaling that the sword was made in a certain way. Interestingly, they were all formed with varying methods, but the most surprising thing about them is the composition of the metal. The trick to making a good sword is perfecting the amount of carbon in the blade. If there's too much carbon mixed with the iron, the swords will break, but not adding enough meant the sword would bend. The Ulfbert swords were the perfect blend, and it's not entirely clear how they managed to do this. It truly was a science hundreds of years ahead of its time, and it was only until the Industrial Revolution came around that it could be replicated. To this day, by using the production methods that they had at the time, no one knows how the Ulfbert blacksmiths were able to craft such impressive weapons. Number 9. The Drapanosaurus Whenever a new fossil is found, it gives further clues as to the evolution of animals and of those that once roamed the Earth. Every now and then, though, something is found that makes no sense at all in terms of scientific understanding and requires a complete rethink of what is taken as fact. This is exactly what's happening with a little-known creature, the Drapanosaurus. The first fossil was found in Italy, but it was all crushed and had to be reconstructed. Scientists believed it was an extinct reptile, but that's now been thrown into doubt. A second fossil was found in Ghost Ranch, New Mexico, and this one seemed to have a claw on each hand instead of fingers. It's now thought that rather than being a dinosaur or a reptile, it was in its own category of creature. Its giant front claw was connected to a flat bone that is seen in no other known animal. It also had a slender snout, a long muscular tail, and a tail spike that allowed it to hold onto trees. In fact, what was once thought to be a reptile actually resembled a mammal, more specifically, the anteater. The problem with this is that evolution dictates that animals are constantly changing, and fossils show the pathway towards the animals we see today. This fossil is so similar to something today that it almost seems impossible. Some have suggested that the two species evolved independently from one another, which could explain this, but others have suggested it calls the whole idea of evolution into question. Just opened Pandora's box right there. Number 8. Rat Kings the Rat Kings are a rare phenomena from the animal kingdom that is so bizarre, no one is entirely sure how it happens. You may have seen one before, but if you haven't, they really are something quite unusual. They have been a part of legend for centuries and are formed when a number of rats become attached by the tail. With all these tails becoming entangled, the rats lose their ability to move independently and die a slow and painful death. Rather than being a regal creation, they would be a ball of complete suffering. This only happens with one species, the black rat, but it sometimes happens with other animals such as squirrels. Despite being written about a lot, only a few examples have ever been recovered, but they do exist. Science can't explain this though because the behavior or tail entanglement has never been documented in rats. Perhaps it's a birth defect or something that happens in cold temperatures to share warmth. Other possibilities are that it happens due to adhesive liquids or a sticky substance formed by a rat's skin. In any case, it makes no sense. Number 7. The Martian Meteorite In 1984, a meteorite fell to Earth, something that in itself is no unusual thing. But this one, known as ALH84001, was found to hold secrets that no one has been able to explain. The 4.1 billion year old rock is thought to have originated on Mars, having been dislodged during a collision and floated through space until it fell into Earth's atmosphere. Unlike other similar specimens, the surface of this rock had something very unusual, what appeared to be the signs of fossilized bacteria. Was this the proof that life once existed on Mars? Or furthermore, that this is how life found its way to Earth? Numerous studies have been conducted on the rock, and so far no conclusions can be made, even almost 35 years after it was found. The structures could be a result of bacterial life, but could also be a geological formation that just so happens to look like something unusual, merely by chance. 
newer analytical techniques may finally unlock the answer. And by the time NASA has the chance to discover evidence of life on the red planet itself, it might just turn out that for all this time, the truth has been here on Earth. Number 6. The Long U Grottoes the Long Yu Grottoes are a series of underground structures near the village of Xi'an Beikun in the Zhejiang province in China. They are thought to be at least 2,000 years old, but scientists and researchers have no idea how they were built, what they were used for, or even who was responsible for them. They were originally discovered in 1992, with a total of 36 grottoes having been found that cover an area of 30,000 square meters. Each one is carved almost 100 feet into solid siltstone and contains features such as rooms, gutters, and pools. As well as the questions of construction, it's also peculiar how they were so precisely carved, why they remain in such good condition, and even why there are no fish at all. I mean, who the heck was here? The grottoes have been flooded for centuries until the government drained a lot of them so they could be further explored. They're proof that there was an advanced civilization in the region at the time, even though none have been documented. It seems every time researchers uncover new things, they also find more questions that science isn't able to explain. Number 5. What was the first dinosaur? Since we first realized that dinosaurs roamed the Earth, paleontologists have been trying to understand the full range of creatures that once lived, with particular interests revolving around which was the first dinosaur to ever live. For a long time, it was thought to be the Eoraptor, a small dinosaur whose fossils had been found in a 231 million year old piece of rock in Argentina. Recently, a new fossil has been found in Tanzania of a whole new species called the Nyasasaurus, which is more than 241 million years old. This could be the true first dinosaur or a relative of the early dinosaurs, but it's becoming increasingly difficult to know where the line is. Of course, even if the Nyasasaurus is determined to be a true dinosaur, there's still the possibility that a new fossil could be found that predates it. The search for the first giant lizard will therefore continue, and it is unlikely to ever be fully explained. Number 4. The Nampa Stone Doll The Nampa figurine looks like any other that has been carved by an ancient civilization. The mystery surrounding this one, though, is how it came to be in the place where it was found. It was discovered in 1889 near the town of Nampa in Idaho. Workers were searching for water and dug a well, which involved drilling a borehole to 295 feet. At this depth, the drill started spitting out clay, and the Nampa stone doll was found within the debris that was pulled out. The depth at which the workers had drilled means they would have gone through a geological layer known as the Glens Ferry Formation. This has been designated a U.S. national landmark because it's the source of one of the greatest collections of animal and plant fossils in North America and was created about 2 million years ago during the Pliocene-Pleistocene era. Does this mean the Nampa figurine originated from this time, far before humans were known to be in the area? Did some other creature create it? Or is it simply a hoax designed to fool researchers? Most believe it to be the latter, or that it's an artifact that managed to fall through fissures in the earth and settle in a place surrounded by relics of a much earlier time. It's still not a certainty though, and the doll continues to be a mystery. Number 3. The Piri Race Map Today we take maps for granted. Satellite technology combined with the work of cartographers over the years, plus Google of course, have created incredibly detailed depictions of our planet. All we have to do now is use our smartphone. This wasn't always the case, clearly, and maps from centuries ago were just kind of close approximations based on ship voyages. Well, that's the way it's always been assumed, but there is one map that is difficult to explain, known as the Piri Race map. The story goes that it was drawn in 1513 by the Turkish cartographer Hagi Ahmed Muhyiddin Piri. He was also a sailor and used 20 different maps and documents as the sources for his work. The strange thing about this map that has left scientists scratching their heads is how accurate it is. Furthermore, it also depicts Antarctica more than 300 years before it was officially discovered. And in this map, it shows the southernmost continent as the ice-free landmass that it would have been more than 6,000 years ago. Could this be evidence that he based his map on drawings by ancient civilizations? As far as we know, no ancient civilization traveled the oceans like this. Did he guess about the continent somehow and miraculously get it right? The way the map is drawn is also unusual because it uses what is known as the Mercator projection. 
a map format that was only possible with the creation of the chronometer in 1760. So how did this cartographer manage to create such an accurate map more than 200 years before that? Like you've probably guessed, no one has a clue. Number 2. The Voynich Manuscript The 600-year-old Voynich Manuscript is often thought of as being the most mysterious book that has ever been written, and still to this day, scientists aren't able to explain what's inside. It's made up of 240 pages, each of which is written in a cryptic text with unusual diagrams and illustrations. Everyone who tries their hand at decoding it fails, whether they be scientists, cryptographers, or code breakers. Of course, it could be that it's complete nonsense, but the intricacy of the images in the book would suggest that it was written by a highly intelligent author. Recently, Canadian researchers have tried using AI to decode the book, and it found that the first pages appear to contain Hebrew text, but in a seemingly incorrect way. Some of the words have been deciphered to be botanical terms, but again, they don't make sense in the context that they are written. Perhaps one day the Voynich manuscript will be understood, but for now, it's puzzling even the most powerful computational programs designed solely to solve the task. If you want to learn more, be sure to watch my video on the most mysterious books ever. Number 1. Dinosaur and Human Footprints The final mystery is one which calls into question the idea that humans weren't around at the time of the dinosaurs, because their footprints have been found side by side. The discovery was made in the Paluxy River in Texas, where hundreds of dinosaur footprints have been found. Their foot impressions were perfectly preserved by the riverbed. As researchers detailed the different prints of varying sizes, it soon appeared to them that some of the shapes that they were seeing were made by the feet of humans. And it wasn't their own either, because the others were all stuck in the rock. People are all kinds of confused. Could this be proof that humans existed a full 65 million years before previously thought? Or could there have been another creature with similar shaped feet? Some even suggest that they could be the prints of aliens. Of course, because that's a solution for everything. How about you? Do you see human footprints here? Or is it simply a case of mistaken identity? If you like our video, then please like, comment and subscribe. And thanks for watching.